In this recording, I would like to talk to you about perfection and how you can begin to gradually eliminate it from your life. Let me tell you one thing for starters, there is no such thing as perfection. What you think is perfect is only perfect for you according to your personal standards. And another person looking at the exact the same thing can tell you that, well, that's not perfect. It's not beautiful. It's not good enough. So perfection is a myth. And apart from being a myth, um, a very dangerous side to perfectionism is that it kills the progress. It absolutely kills the progress because when we are preoccupied with this idea of perfection, we are too afraid to make a move. We are too scared to take steps towards our goals. Many people I work with say something along the lines of when I'm perfect, then I will um, do this presentation. When I slim down, then I will go on a date. Or when I slim down, this is when I will wear that dress. Or when uh, the weather is perfect, then I will go outside and exercise outside. This basically comes down to this idea of waiting for that perfect moment, for that perfect day, uh, when you can give yourself permission to start living, to start speaking, to start enjoying your life on your terms. Not on somebody else's terms, but on your terms. Your terms are, in short, are your personal standards of what is acceptable and what is not acceptable, what is okay and what is not okay. And as I said, perfection kills the progress and it can, it, and it can also kill your dreams if you let it to. So my advice for you, my dear friends, is don't please, don't strive for perfection. There is no such thing as perfection. Strive for progress. Strive for action. Every day, little steps. Don't wait for that perfect day to come. Because if you do, the funny thing is that that day will probably never come. And it's like you will be postponing your own life. Just think about it for a moment. Postponing your own life, postponing your own happiness, postponing your opportunities that are right there at your doorstep right now. Okay, not in the future, but right now. So just ask yourself this question also. Um, and also I would like you to remember that there is one thing in this life that we cannot buy back. We can, we can buy anything, but our time, our lifetime, this is something that you cannot buy back. Once it's gone, 